So we're here at the uh, American College of Sports Medicine and we're, we're lecturing on multiple things presenting to our colleagues here in sports medicine. One of the things that uh, we're bringing up, uh, which has a lot of discussion around it, is actually nutritional supplementation for vision. You know, it's been interesting because we all come from different backgrounds. Dean of an optometry school, I was director of an ophthalmology program at a medical school. Amanda has worked right from ground level with elite college and professional teams. And we all came to nutrition a little bit different way. Some of us more reticent, some of us more skeptical, even though we're all in different parts of medicine. But it's been interesting. We had this argument earlier and the concept was, is there a universal supplement now that we all are using on our athletes? So um, I think that the macula supplements are the ones that we can all agree are gonna have a lot of benefits. And from from my side perspective, thinking about cognition and concussion patients, the exciting thing for me is that that same supplement that we've been using for eyes all this time can also have a neurological effect overall, which is really, really great. Yeah, and I think what we're noticing through the research that's being done, whether it's the nutrition center of a nutrition research center of Ireland or other places, uh, there's a lot that we're seeing that goes beyond vision. So whether that's short-term memory, whether that's eye-hand reaction time, and so that's why this has become really mainstream for us when it comes to, to clinic recommendations. And really what it's coming down to, and Amanda alluded to this, is there's a couple of components of nutrition called leukemia and zeaxanthin that we just can't get enough of in our diets. And there's different creative ways of trying to get this to the retina, but it has been now the hallmark and it is the mainstay of disease progression regression or at least prevention as we get older when it comes to diseases of the macula so from a from a strictly medical standpoint for the eye huge deal for me from a concussion and real you know, right? <laughs> from a concussion and rehabilitation standpoint for amanda she's always been on board with this and then from a basic science standpoint and seeing what this does for basic athletic performance Frazier's always been on board with this. We all had our own different areas that we were coming to this from, and we are finally starting to marry our backgrounds together, which is really interesting. Yeah, it is, uh, especially since you used Mary. Yeah. Um, but I think that, uh, you know, the other one you didn't rec uh, didn't bring up was uh, mesoseosanthin, which, which potentiates a lot of the work within those other ones. So there's, a, there's that opportunity where when you bring all three together, it, it's just this really good formula that actually, yes, is a great marriage when those work together to improve vision or and performance. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, whatever your partner is. <laughs> hey Derek, I don't know if you were watching that softball game earlier, but um, I, I noticed that the pitcher for one of the teams was wearing glasses. Was it Texas? No, it wasn't. It was actually the exact opposite. So no joke, we're at the American College of Sports Medicine. We're having lunch before our lecture and we're watching SEC baseball. And we see an softball, Oklahoma, yeah. <laughs> sorry, softball, Oklahoma pitcher wearing what could only be described as very attractive, but very non-recreational fashion eyewear. So safety, safety is our, our main like concern here, right? Because anytime we're talking about um, sports safe eyewear, it's never dress eyewear. It's something very different with certain standards that it's just going to keep them safe. Absolutely. And if you look, I mean, she was pitching a really good game, um, and I'm sure that prescription is wonderful for her. The problem becomes if she gets a hit back to her and it hits those frames, she's actually at a higher risk because now those aren't made for that type of impact. So if they break, not only do you have the ball hitting her in the face, you now have potentially shrapnel, if you will, from those eyeglasses breaking that can put her at an increased risk. And just from a functional standpoint, they're relatively loose fitting fashion eyewear. Again, great looking stuff, but there was no retention strap. There was no safety mechanism to hold them on. She's an elite athlete at a, at a very high level of performance. Uh, you know, so this gives us all cringe moments when we see stuff like this. She was great, but it's kind of one of these things that these subtle things, especially on ESPN, are things that we need to point out and really kind of help all our coaches and trainers with a little bit. So if you're looking for the standard for those eye doctors out there, or if you're gonna to talk to your eye doctor, you wanna look at ASTM standards. Those are the ones that we recommend for the most, for the best coverage for sports safe eyewear. Even if you're from Oklahoma.